Thank you for your interest in K2 standards highlights. In winter 2017, districts will be notified of the finalized revisions. Resources will be updated in the spring of 2017. Then in the 2017-2018 school year, schools will implement the new revised standards, taking into consideration any gaps or overlaps of instruction for students. In 2018-2019, the assessments will be updated to reflect the revisions. This video will address the standards highlights. When looking at the standards comparison document, revisions are shown in red text. Deletions are not indicated, but can be found by comparing the original to the revision. Also to be noted, a revision to any standard prompted a review for impact on other standards. Standards were checked and revised for vertical alignment in all domains, conceptual categories, and all grade levels courses. Footnotes were added to the appropriate cluster statements and standards in K-12. Those additions are marked in purple text. Content area terminology was clarified with descriptions or examples embedded in the standard or with the superscript G denoting a glossary entry. Most changes that were made were due to clarity. The kindergarten domain of counting and cardinality was reviewed and revised for both clarity and grade level appropriateness. Money was the most commented upon topic. Most people wanted money added to other grade levels. The working groups added money standards efficiently and strategically. They did not want to add new standards because they did not want to change the numbering of the standards to avoid limiting teachers' ability to use the national resources. Instead, they embedded money concepts into other standards where they fit naturally and could reinforce concepts at the current grade levels. Kindergartners use pennies to count and sort pennies to reinforce one-to-one -one correspondence. First graders use dimes and pennies to reinforce counting by tens. In second grade, students add to their knowledge the name and value of nickels and quarters. They are to add dollars with dollars and cents with cents. For example, they could add 95 cents and 35 cents to get 130 cents. They do not use decimal notation here since they haven't learned about decimals yet. Third grade extends the concepts at second grade except for the numbers used can be within a thousand. In fourth grade, students are introduced to decimal notation, but the emphasis is on adding and subtracting with models, since they have not yet learned the decimal algorithm. In the domains of number and operations in base 10 and operations and algebraic thinking, few clarifications were made. Wording was clarified in various standards to ensure that kindergartners were not required to write equations. Teachers should follow Bruner's stages of representation, concrete, pictorial, and abstract. Students should start with models, then move to drawings, and although students should be exposed to equations, they should only use them if they are ready. For more information and further resources, please visit the Ohio Department of Education's website.